Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a get to know me video and I put up a questions box on Instagram and I'm just going to answer some of your questions. Okay, so someone said, what is your favorite TV show? So Friends, I really love Friends. I've watched it pretty much every night for eight years. Are you a cat or a dog person? Dog person, 100%. I miss my Flynn. Flynn is my sister's puppy. Okay, so someone asked, have you ever had a near-death experience? I actually have. So I was, I think I was fishing. Yeah, I was fishing um, down at this like beach where it's there's no waves and it's like near rock pools and stuff. And I don't know why, because I don't normally care, but that day I was really paranoid about little fish swimming around my feet. And then I, I like stepped back and I could feel like wiggling under my foot. And I was like, oh my God, I stepped on a fish and I lifted my foot up and it was an octopus. <laughs> this is so random. And then I was like, oh my God, dad, like it's an octopus. And it was like a little baby one. So we were like, oh, like surely it's not anything. And then he goes, I think it's a blue ringed octopus. And if you're from Australia, you would know <laughs> that you can literally die from a blue ringed octopus in like 20 minutes. But I was so lucky. It wasn't blue when we picked it up. My dad picked it up with a bucket and threw it on the sand and played with it and it went bright blue. It was crazy. It was so wild, but I'm so lucky. That's the closest I've ever come to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's my near death experience. Okay. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Okay. So for example, if I go to like cold rock, which is like if you're not from Australia, it's like a mix-in place. So you get like the flavor ice cream and then you get like mix-ins like lollies or biscuits or chocolates or whatever it is. So if I go to Cold Rock, I'll get bubble gum with marshmallows, mini marshmallows mixed in. Mm, so good. Definitely try it. But if I don't go to Cold Rock, then probably like cookies and cream or like chocolate ice cream with like chalk bits. It's like the Buller one. Oh, that one's nice. I really like that one. Anyway, next question. What's your favorite type of clothing? I just like trackies. I love dressing daggy and my mum is always like, put something pretty on. You have so many pretty clothes and you choose to wear these ugly things. And I'm like, yeah, but it's just like what I'm comfortable in. So probably like daggy clothes. <laughs> I love this question. So someone said, do you prefer the notebook or the Titanic? <laughs> Jared, my boyfriend. We always go through stages. Is it like... Is it a day for Titanic or is it a day for the notebook? <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd probably choose Titanic because I've literally loved that since I was like, I don't know, since I was allowed to watch it because there's like a sex scene in it. But I remember it came out again. It was like the, the 20 year anniversary or something and they put it out in cinemas again and I went and watched it in my onesie. I think I was like 12. <laughs> what is something that we don't know about you? I don't think there's anything. The only thing I can think of is Crohn's, but I think you guys know that. I can kind of elaborate on it. So pretty much I have Crohn's disease. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which I think all of you do. But if you don't know, I have Crohn's disease, um, which is um, IBD, which is inflammatory bowel disease. I am going to elaborate a lot more on it on my YouTube. I feel like I'll still touch on it on Instagram, but I don't really want to bombard you guys with it. So I thought I could kind of mix it up and do it on both platforms. So it's not, you know, like disengaging because I really want to educate you guys, but I don't want it to be, you know, like I flood the information to you. So I, I feel like with YouTube, you can kind of choose to watch it or not with stories it's like you don't really know what's coming up oh uh, also i'm starting a new medication in a couple days so i thought i would document that so you guys can see what i do to kind of manage the disease next question this is so random someone said who sent the last text message you received my mom actually <laughs> my mom and then my boyfriend okay so someone said when did you start Instagram? So I started Instagram, I think it was in 2012. I think I looked at this the other day, but let me double check. 
Yeah, so I started on the 11th of June in 2012, and for some reason I changed my name five times. Interesting. Oh, I changed my name. Oh, never mind. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 21. Just turned 21. Actually, it was like two months ago now, but <laughs> I'm 21. Favorite brands? I have a lot. For like everyday or like dressy, Princess Polly is like my go-to for everything. My recent collab with Zaful, um, I really loved the stuff that I got sent. I think it's so cool. Look how cute this like shirt is. It's so cute. It's like little bears on it and stuff. I also like Pretty Little Thing. And then also Glassons. Um... Yeah, they're kind of my favorite. Okay, um, what year of uni are you in? I'm in my third year and I graduate at the end of next year, provided that I pass everything. But I'm going to pass everything. <laughs> What's your star sign? I don't really believe in this, but um, can I'm a Cancer. I, I guess I believe in some of it. Like, I'm really, really a Cancer. Like, if you read all the traits, I'm really a Cancer. But like I don't I don't believe in like like who you should date and stuff in terms of your star sign. But yeah. What is at the top of your bucket list? Europe. Doing Europe, doing America. I think those are the first like the big the big ones that I um I thought of. Oh my god, my camera's gonna die. Ah! How many countries have you been to? I've only been to Bali, so Indonesia. Um, but I've traveled like all up and down the east coast of Australia and then I was meant to go to New Zealand for my birthday and coronavirus cancelled that. Thanks babe. Someone said can you please do a makeup tutorial? Yes, I will definitely <sighs> Yes, I will definitely do a makeup tutorial. I was gonna make it this video and do like makeup as I was talking, but I thought, no, let's just stick to the get to know me and we can do makeup another time. Someone asked, what's your biggest regret? I seriously do not live with regrets. I don't even classify them as regrets. I classify them as like learning curves because if you don't stuff up, how are you gonna know, right? So not regrets, only lessons. Big brain. What is your favorite movie genre? I mean, I love like romance and comedy, but I think the one that I like the most because my boyfriend and I can agree on it is horror. I hate thriller. I cannot do thriller. It like stresses me out, but horror like all the way. I don't I don't get scared by that stuff. I think it's really interesting. So, yes, that is my favorite. I just remembered something that you guys don't know about me. This is really random, okay? I can ride a unicycle, I've done trapeze, um, fire twirling, that's, you know, <laughs> that's, that's, um, <clears throat> next question. What is one item you can't leave home without? It used to be my phone, but now it's my Apple Watch. I don't know what it is, but I get so stressed out when I don't have my Apple Watch on because I'm like, oh my god, I'm not counting the steps, you know? I want to make sure I'm getting all my steps. Okay, so someone asked, what is your biggest fear? This is like something, <laughs> literally, if someone put one on me, I would probably just pass out. So <laughs> I'm so afraid of spiders. I fully have arachnophobia and I swear because of that, I attract them. I have like a few stories about being attacked by them. Some would say it's not being attacked, but it's definitely being attacked for me. Um, one time I was driving home and my air conditioning was broken and it was middle of summer. So I had my windows down and it was like 35 degree day. So inside my car was like 40 plus. And I was driving and I was in the right lane on a main road. So it was really hard for if I wanted to get to the curb. So anyway, I was driving and I see something moving right by my eye. And I looked and it was a huntsman. My ears went fuzzy and my eyes went all twinkly. I was literally about to pass out. Oh my god. And I was like driving like this. I was holding the steering wheel with two fingers and one toe was on like the accelerator and then the other one was on the clutch and like blah blah blah. And 
I looked and it was there and then I looked forward to like make sure I wasn't going to crash and then I looked back and it was gone and I didn't know if it fell in the car or if it went back outside but I was freaking out and I bit the bullet and I just did the window up and hoped that it would be outside and then like the whole car ride home I was bawling my eyes out and I had mascara all down my face and I had still had no idea where it was. I thought it was like crawling up my legs and stuff because like, you know, when you got that paranoia about something and you just think it's all over you. Oh my God, that was me the whole ride home. And then when I got home, I was sitting in the driveway. No one was home. I wanted to see if someone could come out and see if it was on my car. And no one was home. So I had to do the digital dash and I jumped I literally kicked the door because I was scared it was going to be like on the crack between the door and the roof of the car and then fall on me when I was getting out. <sighs> I literally get anxiety talking about it right now. And I just kicked the car door open and I ran out of the car and I was sweating. I was crying. I was such a hot mess. And that was like such a bad experience. But then there was another time. I'll make it quick because I swear I've already been speaking for like 10 minutes, but <laughs> I walked into my room and the spider must have been, this is what I mean by on the join of the door, the door and the wall, because I opened the door and it landed on my foot. It landed on my foot and I can still feel the feeling of it landing on my foot and then it ran across my room over to like my chair over there oh <laughs> I was on the phone to my friend and it was just like oh my god it was literally the worst experience of my life like I think that was the worst experience of my life okay so that's all the questions I have for today I'm sure down the track I'll answer more but Thank you so much for watching and thanks so much for watching my first video as well. I can't believe the love I got on that. I just wasn't even expecting that many views. But yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to sign off for today. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can see when I post next. And 